Si todavía no estás suscrito al canal no olvides suscribirte. Activa la campanita de las notificaciones para que no te pierdas ninguno de nuestros videos. I know since you've arrived here at our television station, you've been looking at yourself and your performance last night. Yes. You impressed a lot of people. What did you think about how you did? Well, I think I did pretty good. And I was like, so like, overwhelmed. Nervous, right? I was so nervous when I got on there. Like, I was like. <laughs> you performed in front of large crowds before, but this mm -hmm. had to be the largest crowd ever. How did you prepare for it? Well, I, I've been like practicing on every day and I was like so scared I'd be like doing my vocal exercise backstage and like like taking deep breaths to calm myself down before I went back on there I was just like <laughs> well you were very calm and your performance was beautiful this is some video of your parents standing backstage in tears so happy for you very nervous as well yes. backstage, as any parent would be you know you are juggling learning about performing perfecting your voice you are a soprano yes at the same time you're going to the doctor pretty regularly because you had a kidney transplant just about four years ago yes what is it like juggling all of that well you know keeping up with all of that is you know when I got my kidney transplant from my mom, I was really scared and I didn't know what would happen. And thankfully, the surgery went well. And I make occasional trips to the hospital. You know, I go there every three months. It's, you know, it's kind of hard, but you know, I get through it all. Uh, it sounds like you have. You've persevered not only through the health challenge, but also through all these performances. So you made it through last night's round. Now it's on to the next round. Yes. What happens now? You're, you're preparing, you're perfecting your voice. Yes, I, I'm practicing and I'm training. I do my vocal exercise every day. Like everything has to be better. Okay, well, practice makes perfect. Now, yes. last night you impressed the judges, in particular Mel B, who you really adore. Yes. Well, you know, I think she's really awesome, but to me, I love all the judges, really. They give me so great feedback, and I just absolutely love all of them. Simon is known to be a pretty tough judge. You know, he was actually pretty nice to me. Like, I wonder why. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, you performed last night. We'll be watching you in the upcoming performances. There's a live show late in the summer. You may have the opportunity to perform at that. What advice do you have for other little girls and little boys out there who dream of, of following in your footsteps? Well, I tell Tell them to you know follow their dreams and to never give up. And when things block in your path, you just have to keep pushing forward to very, achieve your dreams. Very, very good advice, not only for little girls and boys, but for all of us. Yes. We'll be cheering you on. And I want to <laughs> I know you're not only uh, active on the stage, but you're also active on social media. So where yes. can people, your new fans, follow you? So well, you can find a lot of my music on Facebook and YouTube, and just type Angelica Hale or Angelica Hale Music. OK, so the name already in life and, <laughs> of, of course, very prominently on social media. Yes. Angelica, thank you so much. Oh you're going to stay in touch, right, and come back? Of of course. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs>